Hey guys, it is me, David, back with the 2013 edition of the LEGO Clone Army. And guys, this year, in front of the Clone Army is Phase 1 Captain Rex designed by Dutch Micro Figures. And this year, guys, Captain Rex is standing in front of 3,846 clone troopers. That is just amazing. Truly amazing. We have clone troopers all the way over here clone troopers all the way over here it is unbelievable guys i am just mind blown by the amount of clone troopers we have this year and it is it is just something so guys without ado let's get straight into the video all right guys this is the moment you've been waiting for the big unveiling of 3846 clone troopers guys that is absolutely crazy like i didn't ever think i was gonna get this many clone troopers and guys what makes this year really special is i have two full base plates of the 501st clone trooper and as you guys know it's only available in two sets uh, both of which are not easy to get uh you know giant army amounts of this um so it is just crazy like absolutely crazy guys like there is so many clone troopers it is unbelievable now i know some of you guys actually may notice that there is a lack of vehicles um around the clone army this year that is because i am on a kind of a tight space a little bit of course i have a lot of shelving space because i just installed these shelves however guys you have to remember that all of these sets have had to be rebuilt all of them hand by hand all of them had to be rebuilt uh, since I had moved last year, the last clone army was built or uh, was in a different house. So this is the first year doing this clone army in a different house. So I had to rebuild all of the sets, all of the clone troopers had to be put on the base plates again. So a lot of work went into this. That's why it took a lot longer. It should have came out in March like usual. Um, however, again, just so many sets to build other, uh, complications just came in the way. So I do apologize for that. And I do apologize for not having all of the sets out this time. Uh, now, if you want to check out my full uh, LEGO Clone Army set collection, just check out last year's 2012 uh, edition. That shows all uh, all the ATTEs, even though this year I have three more, making it nine. Pretty cool. Um, but again, if you want to check out all of the sets uh, that I'm not showing, that are not new uh, to this Clone Army, go ahead and check out last year's video. All right, guys. So, quick uh, overview. So, what we got going on here is four base plates by five right here, but then there's an extra four down here. So, actually, it's yeah, it's four by six. So, this is 24 base plates of clone troopers. Pretty crazy. Um, that actually comes out with the uh, custom clones over there. This is a total of 3,515 clone troopers here on the t giant ping pong table of mine um now where's the other 300 they're actually over here behind this chair so uh basically this is the other 300 they're all like this right here is yeah when you build the AT uh, atrt um uh, the first thing is where the clone trooper comes in and i have like 10 of those right there so that's 10 clone troopers this is about um this is this bag right here is about 50 this is 109 bomb squad troopers and there's some down these buckets and also in there as well um and that bag right there is full of every just about every um lego star wars minifigure ever made i've been trying to collect all of them uh lately so yeah so the th other 300 are just around the room there's also uh clone troopers um on the gunships and stuff they're in vehicles so yeah, so there's 315 clone troopers all right here, including that last base plate with the custom clones. Um, and then the last 300 are just scattered around throughout the room. So yeah, all right guys, so we'll just get on to the clone troopers, uh, starting with this base plate right here. Um, let's see, I think this is 80 uh, of the new um, phase one clone troopers and then you got four um, uh, episode three pilots, one clone pilot. Again, a lot of the a lot of my uh, special minifigures have been hidden from me uh, since I moved, so that's why a lot of them are kind of not here. 
Um, even though I do have four of this uh, uh, yellow guy, uh, I'm just not showing them because the other two or other three are in other places. I have five Kashyyyk Troopers, um, but again, I could only find two because the other three are just scrambled around. Um, two Arc Troopers um, right here, if you can tell. These are, I think, what is that? 10 of the Episode 3 Swamp Speeder Clone Troopers, regular Clone Troopers, and then two of the um, 41st Elite Troopers, three Jetpack uh, Troopers that you got in the Turbo Tank, and this is one, yeah, this is seven of the old Clone Troopers right here. And then you have seven, 13, I think, of the uh, Commander Neo Troopers. So, oh yeah, and a pilot right there, one of the new ones. Um, but yeah, so that's the first base plate. Second base plate, um, just some, right, I'm not gonna go every count off, but you have regular clone troopers here. Uh, you have the um, 327 Star Corps yellow troopers, basically Commander Bly's troops right there. And then you have the clone gunners right there. This entire base plate right here is the special elite clone troopers that came with the ARF troopers and that uh, clone troopers versus uh, commando droids battle pack. And next is um, horn company troopers with a mix of ARF troopers. Uh, so that's the first four. This entire row all the way down here is all episode three clone troopers. Yeah, that many. Oh, but wait, there's more. On the other side, going all the way down to here, there's another four base plates of Episode 3 regular clone troopers. Absolutely crazy. So that makes a total of eight base plates of Episode 3 regular clone troopers. It is the biggest of my... Oh, of what I know, it is the biggest army of Episode 3 uh, regular clones. Again, two base plates of 501st clone troopers, um, one full base plate of the phase one um, new clone troopers that came out the, in 2013 this year. Here's that Captain Rex, a better look at it. Very cool, it has a decaled helmet um, and some printing on the arms and legs and torso. Again, that was by uh, Dutch Micro Figures. He's pretty much the guy who designs just about all of my uh, clone cheapers for minifigs for you. So yeah. All right, guys, uh, the next base plate is the shock troopers. I have a full base plate of shock troopers. Very, very cool. All right, and these next two roads right here are just regular um, phase one clone troopers, the Clone Wars versions. So I have two full two full base plates of them. I wish I had gotten more uh, because of the Clone Walker battle pack at the time that came out, which was like 2009, 2010. I was not making as much money as I am now, so kind of sucks. Uh, so hopefully the 2014's battle packs are up to ex expectations and will have a lot of clone troopers in one battle pack that I can buy in bulk quantity. All right, next is a full base plate of the 327th Star Corps Troopers. Uh, so yeah, pretty plain and simple. Uh, right here and over here is two full base plates of RF Troopers. And right behind this uh, Phase 1 Clone Wars figures is another base plate of RF Troopers. Off to it, uh, side right there is a full base plate of um the new like i forget i think they're the gunner uh they're the olive green clone trooper that comes in the battle pack with these guys don't know their specific name uh off the side over here we have a full base plate of the horn company troopers so yeah and that is all of the clone troopers by base plate uh on the main section pretty crazy all right, if we come on down here, these are all the custom clone troopers. So there's a lot to go through, uh, but I'll try to make it fast. 
So the two that are the most important to me is, uh, if you guys are a diehard fan of me, you'll know that um, I had some uh, custom, I had my own commander when I was uh, a bit younger than I am now. Three years ago, I created this commander right here. This is the first kind of guy I just made up. His name was Commander Bragan. And I asked Clone Army Customs the next year following, I said, hey, could you make a clone, better clone trooper than this off Commander Brig? And he's like, yeah, sure. So we made that, and I've just loved it ever since. And I'm actually in the works of making my own minifix for you, Commander Bragan. So if he stays tuned to the site, he will be joining the other uh, clone troopers over here. So that'll be really cool. Alright, so moving on. Uh, so these uh, customs right behind Commander Bragan, the two Commander Bragans, these are these Delta Squad customs right here. They're decaled. They're by a guy named Andrew VXTC on Flickr. So, yeah, they're very cool. And that's his commando, by the way, and also his hard case. And behind the commandos is my very old Inferno Squad. It was a, uh, it was a commission to JPO 1997 to make my own, like, kind of uh, Delta Squad version. Inferno Squad kind of had that flame look, so... They were pretty cool. They're still in good shape to a modest extent, uh, but they're doing good. Uh, th so these two customs right here um, are actually no, all of these guys right here. I'll, I'll explain in a minute. Are by uh, by a name by a guy up eBay who isn't selling them anymore. His name's Friendling or Friendlag or whatever his name is. Um, See, so yeah, I had a um, commander, Captain Fordo, uh, Commander Wolf, uh, Episode Three. Uh, Commander Jet uh, Genosis. Um, I think that's it's both of them. That's Boy and Waxer right there, and Genosis version. And then I had three of the Flamethrower clone troopers. Uh, all of them by a guy named Friendling, but he's offline. He doesn't sell any more clone troopers, so it's pretty unique having them. Now these two uh, figures right here, the Matchstick and the Forty uh, First Elite Airborne Trooper, they were my very first Clone Army custom purchases. So that's why I have them. They're a bit special to me since I bought them back in 2008, five years ago. And they're still pumping through. They're they're still uh, rolling. Still no decals to peel off yet. <laughs> uh, but yeah. All right, and then these are all my Clone Army Custom Clone Troopers. Like, uh, I'm sure a lot, I don't have to go each by, uh, by each one. Because I know a lot of you have seen the reviews of these Clone Troopers. They got like almost 300,000 views each. So I won't go through them individually, but you can just see and uh, see what I mean. Like, there's a bunch of them here. All right, now, these are my own all uh, from here to here. These are all my own uh, clone troopers. And these are by me through my site, minifigsforyou.com. There is a link in the description. Um, now, all of them are actually are not available for purchase because they sell out fast, and I can only make... Uh, I have to make them in bulk quantities, so I can only make so many at one time. So they'll never actually all be available at one time. It kind of sucks, I know. Uh, but it just, it's cost a lot to make these this many figures. All right, so in front, we have pretty much all the 501st guys. We have Hard Case, Tup, Fives, um, Jesse, 501st Clone Trooper, Dogma, Havoc, uh, Tup, uh... Oh, I'm sorry. This is Kicks. My bad. Um, and then that's Echo. Captain Rex, of course. Um, and then moving on, we have the 212th Airborne Trooper. Um, 212th uh, Clone Trooper. Commander Cody. Right there. Uh, I think that's... That's Waxer. That's Boyle. Captain Fordo, Phase 2 Edition. Uh, Shock Trooper. Uh, Commander Thorn. Captain, or Commander Fox, I think. Um, Commander Devis. Um, phase 2 uh, Wolf. Wolfpack Trooper. Um, the second edition of Commander Bly. First edition of Commander Bly. 327th uh, Star Corps Trooper. Uh, Arc Trooper Blitz. Arc Trooper Colt. Um, Commander Neo. Commander Bakara. Commando Gregor, uh, one of my personal favorites, Commander Gray. I think this figure just came out amazing. Love the printing on him. By the way, all of my clone troopers are custom printed, never decaled. So always keep that in mind. Very cool. 
So you can see I, I even print through the legs right there. And trust me, these guys are totally, they're, they're tricked out. All right, and then I have a full uh, phase uh, two clone trooper, Snow Captain Rex, 501st Rocket Trooper, another really cool one. And then right there is like an army builder, a uh, simpler version of the phase two um, clone trooper. He doesn't actually have a helmet. I couldn't find another clone army custom phase two helmet. So this helmet right here would actually go on that clone trooper. So sorry about that. All right, and then lastly in the back, uh, except for these four, but uh, these guys right here are my minifigs, uh, minifig maker customs. So I have the phase two Captain Rex, I have two versions of them. He had a first version, which is this one over here, and the other version, which is on this side right there. Um, this version, I forget which version was used in the Clone Army last year. It was one or the other, I forget. Then you have Hardcase, uh, Sergeant Apo, and Jesse, Commander Bly, um, Commander Mock, which was a scuba trooper. Actually, one of my favorite minifigs, uh, minifig maker clone troopers, and Commander Wolf right there. And now these four clone troopers are a little bit special. These are my very first um, custom printed clone troopers. They did not have the best printing. They rubbed off really easily. It was my experimentation with printing. So if you guys ever bought these, these are like the first generation ones on my very old site, legoboyproductions.com. If you bought these there, then uh, if you still have it, then they're quite a collector's edition because it's pretty cool having some old ones. But again, all of these guys right here, this uh this row right here are all my own custom designs um again they were designed by dutch micro figures but they're all uh under my minifigs for you site for sale or they were for sale a lot of them are have been sold out and been sold out for a long time some of them were convention exclusive so that's why you don't see them up here up on the site but i always have new ones coming out um so definitely give my site minifigs for you a look like i said these are custom printed that is printing not decals Printing just like the Lego figures over here. All, just like all of these guys. These guys have printing, including their helmets. They are Clone Army Custom printed helmets. Printing is the next evolution in custom clone troopers, guys. Sharpies and decals are out now. It's just not a cool. It's not a fab anymore. Alright, guys. So let's get on to the vehicles. Alright, everybody. So, uh, on to the vehicles. Alright, so... Here we have uh, three of the 2005 turbo tanks. Very cool, very cool. And then over here is three of the new 2013 ATTEs. Now, uh, they're actually a bit smaller um, than the 2008 ATTE. And then uh, down there I also have the 2002 ATTE, I think. But uh, I love the, the new one the most, actually, because it's... It's very nice. The only down, uh, the only bad part is the handle right here. Can't attach it to the drop ship, so kind of a downer. But anyway, speaking of the drop ship, I have three drop ships right here, um, and then I have four of the 2008 gunships built so far. I still have like another four more or three more to find. And then I have three of the new 2013 gunships right here. And then on the very end is the original 2002 gunship, uh, which actually splits open. So uh, that's pretty cool. Got that new Republic cruiser from the old Republic. Going back down here, I have both Republic frigates side by side right here. Um... Again, I have one AT, one of the one ATT from two thousand eight built so far, but I have two more, and then moving on over here, I have two more of the old ATT. So yeah. All right, moving on. Uh, so I have three of the two thousand ten gunship right here, or gunship, yeah, two three of the two thousand ten uh, turbo tank, and then I have. Uh, another regular um, 2005 uh, turbo tank, and then I have my custom built one with like a ga Gatling gun, Gatling gun uh, that spins right here. So that's pretty cool. So that makes five of the old uh, 2000 2005 uh, turbo tanks. And then I have two of the 2008 uh, ATAPs. Of course, what would the clone RV be without the MTRV by uh, Pac-Man Studios? But uh, I actually edited it up uh, to make it a little bit of my own uh, since then. 
I have five of the turbo tank speeders to go with all five. Actually, excuse me, I have five speeders plus another one, which actually just doesn't have the blasters right there. Uh, so I, technically I have six of these uh, bark speeders that came with the clone turbo tank from 2005. And then I have uh, three ARC 170s. Uh, one is kind of in the bubble wrap over there. You can kind of see that right there. And then on top of the uh, ARC 170s is two Z95s. I have three Republic fighter tanks, three V-19 turrets, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, uh, speeder bike, uh, and they're kind of like gunner stations, uh, battle packs, or basically clone battle packs. Um, I actually have 20 in all. Again, I haven't built everything, guys. Uh, right here is 18 uh, clone walker battle pack walkers. So, yeah. So that does it for all the built stuff. Um, I have a lot of stuff that's still not built. Like right here, like this is one bag of walkers, another bag of walkers. This is the legs to the ATOT. Um, again, more walkers. Here's those uh, speeders. Again, if you want to check out the uh, 2012's Clone Army video for a full view of just about all of my vehicles, my Clone Wars vehicles, then you should definitely take a look at that. Uh, but the big thing for this uh, 2013 edition is definitely the Clone Army and just how freaking big it is. It is huge. Um, now also over there on the shelves, uh, you can see I have two of the Anakin Y-Wings uh, from the Clone Wars. <laughs> and then uh, over there I have, I think, it's either 10 or 12 of the 2005 uh, ATRT walkers. And then I also have 10 of the new ATRT uh, walkers. And then I have five battle pack things built right there. I have a lot more though. Um, it's not built. Uh, and I think that just about does it for built sets, I think. So without ado, let's go ahead and move on to box sets. <laughs> actually my new closet it's kind of cramped in here um so yeah so anyways i have a lot of lego star wars and other lego sets as you can probably tell in here packed really tight those are actually brand new battle packs i have like 10 of each up there um here's some more sets over here um i wish i could give you a better view of this guys but from sealing up, it is just Legos upon all of these are brand new Legos. Like this is a new Batman set and everything. Um, new uh, Republic Swamp Speeders. There's like two here. And there's like four more somewhere else. Here's another one right here. Uh, I know I have like ten of those brand new in the box. I have a lot of Minecraft sets. Um, here's like a Battle of Naboo. A lot of the uh, original battle packs. Uh, ATR, uh, I'm sorry, um, the Republic drop ship with ATOT, brand new in the box. Um, uh, what's that? The Gunkin sub, brand new. What are these? Uh, a bunch of the Mandalorian battle packs. You, as you can see, I buy this stuff when it goes on clearance. I just buy a whole bunch. Um, a bunch of the Gene Ocean things. A lot of battle packs. A lot of battle packs. Uh, just all kinds of different stuff that just gets assorted around Frico speeders um, The 2010 winter catalog the like, bunch of these sets um, Regina hyena bomber all of this is brand new and sealed never been opened um, So it's it's pretty crazy now if we Kind of cramped up in here if we go back out to here um, I have one brand new advent calendar pretty cool and then over here I have uh, four public swamp speeders right here brand new in the box um, one corporate alliance tank brand new in the box and that uh, ultimate collectors b-wing right there is brand new as well um, 
and then there's uh, brand new of that set right there. All of this is just brand new. I'm not even going to say brand new anymore because I think you get the point. All right, uh, I'm actually going to move over to the closet, show some more battle packs. All right, so uh, guys, as you can see, uh, I do have the new clone sergeant. So those of you asking, I do have that still sealed in the uh, in the kid thing, the baggie. Here's just five brand new of uh, this set. I've got some Minecraft sets right here. Those have nothing to do with Lego Star Wars. A bunch of the in indoor battle packs over here. Um, there's another five of these battle packs. That makes ten. All right, guys. You just witnessed three thousand eight hundred and forty-six clone troopers, and this is. As of this video, as we're making it, this is the largest Lego clone army there is on YouTube. And it is spectacular, spectacularly amazing, really, because we have all kinds of different clone troopers. I actually have, to my knowledge, I have the largest episode three regular white clone army. We have eight, four right here, four right here, eight full base plates of phase one, uh, phase three, or uh, excuse me, Phase 2, Episode 3 Clone Troopers that were only available in the 2007 Battle Pack. And you only got two per Battle Pack. I can't say where exactly I get these Clone Troopers. I can guarantee you that just about, at least over 70% of this was bought Clone Trooper by Clone Trooper. I do not buy the actual Lego sets. Uh, I sometimes do. If that's the cheaper route, then that's the cheaper route um, for the clone troopers right here the new um phase one clone troopers that were released in the battle pack that was the cheaper route to just buy a bunch of battle packs and then just sell off everything else in the battle pack except for the two clone troopers uh, as you can see you know you have the olive green and then you have the regular ones over there um you know there's all kinds of different variety that i got in here of course you have the custom clones and um you know you have the rf troopers and the horn company troopers and all that um, so, you know, I try to definitely keep it ar army builder. I mean, as you can see, I just don't like bomb squad troopers. Any clone trooper that I personally wouldn't buy if, if, if I was just a regular customer, if I wasn't a YouTuber, I would buy these clones. I wouldn't buy bomb squad troopers. I wouldn't buy our, our troopers. I wouldn't buy Republic troopers. I wouldn't buy any of that. I stick to the army builders. The army builders, meaning that, you know, you would see these clone troopers in giant battles. You would see hundreds and thousands of clone troopers in this amount. Um, and, you know, this year especially we have, you know, what is that? Two full base plates of the new 501st clone trooper. That's only available in one set. Actually, two, I'm sorry, two sets. But the one set being a $20 set and you only get one figure per set. And considering that we have just about, yeah, we have over... 350 of that of, of that particular figure is just crazy uh i think we really really stepped up uh the bar on this uh this year's clone army and i really can't wait to see what 2014 army is going to be like now of course i didn't i was not able to show all of the sets um i only have all i have all the turbo tanks out um i have most of the gunships built but um this was the first year. This is a new house that I'm doing the uh, 2013 edition in. Last year was a different house. So I have limited space in this room that I'm in. This is my only Lego room, so I have to take what I got. Now, of course, I have all of this shelving space, and there's kind of no excuse for, this, uh, for the space uh, deal uh, because I can pretty much put all the sets on. But, guys, I had to rebuild all of these sets this last year. And on top of that, you know, all of these clone troopers had to be uh, bought. Um, over the course of the last year and a half, all of these clone troopers were bought. Um, just about twice as many clone troopers as last year's clone army. Last year's clone army only consisted um, from here. So these four base plates down three. And now we have expanded to five by four base plates, which is almost just about double. Um, I think that is just amazing. Uh... So I really, I, I, there's no words for how cool this really is. Um, yeah. And another thing, of course, is that, you know, guys, I have nine ATTs. Again, like I said, I wasn't able to show all of the sets this year. But I guarantee you next year I'll have all of the sets built. Um, if you want to take a look at the, all of the, the, the complete, 
uh, my complete clone army uh, building set collection check out 2012's uh, video because I, I had all of them built then um, I didn't have to tear them down when I moved uh, so yeah but guys um, so the last thing I'm gonna just cover is of course you know I, I talk about this a lot of, in a lot of my videos if you check out my vlog channel I talk about this on there too but a big question that comes up is how on earth can I afford this many clone troopers? If you uh, go onto eBay and look at your regular prices, these clone troopers can range between three to ten dollars each. Sometimes even more than that. Um, but being in this game or business or whatever you want to call it, for just about going on my sixth year now, uh, I've been in it for five years since two thousand eight. I've made a lot of contacts, a lot of people around the world um, who actually, you know, technically who built, who actually buy bulk amount of Lego sets. And what they'll do is they'll separate the figures and parts and stuff like that. And that is where Bricklink comes in. Uh, Bricklink is all made by sets being uh, separately split up. And so when people separate the minifigures from all the sets, all the set pieces that are broken down and sold individually, that is where I come in. But it's not just Bricklink now. I have made other, uh, last year was all Bricklink, but this year I've made different sources that are not Bricklink, that are just personal between one person to another. Um, I can't share, again, I can't share my contacts, but I can just say that I am getting, uh, because I was able to enlarge the clone army, just about double the clone army this year, um, is because I have gotten a cheaper price on the, the bulk quantity uh, as I buy these clone troopers. Um, so yeah, again, on the topic of money, uh, again, guys, of course, just like everybody on here, you on YouTube, uh, makes money through ads and revenue, same deal for me. However, I also have, uh, my minifigs for you site. These, all of these clone troopers right here were by minifigs for you. And I have sold, I think I just hit the 2,500th order. So, and sometimes people will order up to five figures per order so you know that that could be ten thousand clone troopers i sold and these guys market at 25 dollars each but that isn't my full profit my profits i can't say but it's a good percent uh but again so i have revenue coming from that and i have revenue coming from the video ad service that you guys all know about or at least you know when you watch the video there's an ad it's pretty much like that for all youtubers so that is how i generate my revenue uh, to make an army like this. Um, so I think that covers it. I don't really need to go ahead into much details other than that. Again, I have built up sources. I have specific sources that I'm not allowed to talk about in this video. I know a lot of you are, Ooh, what? Um, it's just, just uh, to a personal kind of thing. Um, but yeah, again, guys, you know, uh, if you, if you want to get into this, it's it's not easy. It really isn't. It took me Hey, I'm going on the sixth year now. It took me five years to get to this point where I have 3,000 clone troopers. Uh, almost 4,000 now. Um, so, you know, it, it took a lot of time. It took a lot of money, obviously. Uh, but that was built up by you guys. Almost all of the money, all of these clone troopers, probably. Just about, yeah, just about all of these. Yeah, actually, no. Including minifigs for you, including YouTube. All of this was created by you, the viewer. Uh, and by thousands and millions and millions. I've had, if you combine all of the Clone Army videos I've done over the last five years, it's a combined six million views. That is crazy. So again, you guys, the viewers, are funding this Clone Army. I'm not no spoiled person, parents who buy everything for me. Trust me, everything I buy nowadays is from my own check, my own pocket. Um, so yeah. All right, guys, I think that is going to end it. So thank you again very much for watching this year's Clone Army. And a lot of work was put into this year's. Again, I had to do a lot of uh, research and re uh, find resources to get this many clone troopers because this is not easy to get. I can guarantee you it is not a common day thing where you see where you can just you know go on eBay. Hey, I want 150 of this clone, 150 of that clone, that clone, that clone. Not that easy. I wish it was. Um... So yeah, I'll leave it on that note, guys. I will see you guys in the 2014 edition of the Clone Army. Be sure you go to my channel below and check out all the other videos I do. I do reviews and my newest stop motion that came out last April um, was my Halo stop motion. 
a lot of work was done in that. It was my first real professional animation. Had amazing feedback from this video, from that video. So if you would just kindly, you know, check that out on my channel, that'd be amazing. I do reviews, like I said. Um, I do all kinds of mock building videos, which mean, mock means my own creation in the Lego world. And I build like uh, giant Clone Wars bases. And my next project is going to be Kashyyyk. That'll be really cool. And you know, with 2014's uh, Lego battle packs. It's going to be a lot easier to get more clone troopers from what I have been told and seen uh, so far. So 2014 is going to be a really exciting year. So I can't wait for that uh, clone army. But again, guys, if you would really, uh, big, big thing for you guys to do is definitely just like the video, leave a comment, check out my channel, see what other videos you like from it. It just makes my day by just doing that. That's all I ask. <laughs> um, other than that, guys, thank you again. Like, seriously, you guys are amazing. I know some of you stuck around for five years now. This this year, 2013, marks my fifth year anniversary here on YouTube. So that is really something. And I, I honestly can't thank you guys enough. Um, so, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Again, thank you to my cameraman, Matt. He is behind the camera. <laughs> He's nodding right now. Um, you guys can see him in vlogs if you want to see what he looks like. Uh, but other than that, guys, thank you again for watching. Like, comment, check out my channel. Don't forget to check out Facebook and Twitter and all of those fun social networks that I also put special stuff on. Do all of that, and I think I'll leave you, leave you guys off on that. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.